Today, a Black Lives Matter march is planned outside of Cincinnati Police District 1 headquarters. The march will end with a vigil. Local 12's Megan Moore joins us live in the West End with the details. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Adam. That's right. And judging by the group's Facebook event page, it looks like at least a thousand people are planning to be out here. We're outside of District 1, and you can see that it looks like they're already planning for a large crowd that's going to be out here this afternoon. They have barriers already set up outside uh, that they may have to put up in case there are a lot of people out here. Now, the event is titled Enough is Enough. Justice for Alton Sterling, Flando Castile, and Sam DeBose. In Louisiana, 37-year-old Alton Sterling was shot and killed during an an altercation outside of a convenience store with two Baton Rouge police officers. The officers say they were called after someone said Sterling had a gun and made threats. During the scuffle, one officer shot Sterling multiple times. In Minnesota, a police officer in a St. Paul suburb fatally shot 32-year-old Flando Castile after stopping his car. Castile's girlfriend was a passenger in that car and live streamed graphic video from the car. She said the officer opened fire when Castile reached for his identification. She also said Castile had a license to carry a firearm. For today's march, our organizers will start here at District 1 headquarters at 4 o'clock and will go past the corner of the 13th and Republic where Timothy Thomas was killed in 2001. It will end in Washington Park with a vigil. Those coming to the rally have been asked to bring CDs with the names of people who have been killed by police officers and they're also asked to bring a flower to lay. The group said in a statement that this rally is to raise awareness, build coalitions, and advance the work to build a just world free of state violence. Now, after the death of Castile, Sterling and five officers in Dallas this week, one woman says something has to change. Whether you black, white, green or purple, it doesn't matter. All lives matter and we should be talking about how we go help each other to build a better country and, and to build a better person with each other. And as you can see, we mentioned the barriers earlier. They also have barriers set up around the police memorial on Ezra Charles outside of District 1 headquarters. I talked with police yesterday. They said that they'll plan to be here as they do any rally, making sure people stay safe and it remains peaceful. And again, looks like they're preparing for a lot of people to be out here this afternoon. Live in the West End, Megan Moore, Local 12 News. Thank you again. That rally will start at 4 o'clock at District 1 headquarters. We're going to check back in with Megan coming up at 8.